Today we are talking about boundaries. I'm gonna share the top three do's and don'ts for setting boundaries and why they're really important in your life. If you've ever felt overwhelmed or anxious because you don't have time or energy to do the things you want at the end of the day, or maybe you've felt resentful because it feels like people and activities are taking all of your time, it's possible and probable that you need to set some new boundaries or possibly update some old ones. So let's dive right in. Number one, do for setting boundaries. Pause and question. When someone asks you to do something, pause, take a breath, and then ask yourself, do I actually want to do this thing? Which does matter, by the way, and we can talk about that later. Would saying yes come from my heart or a sense of obligation? If it turns out that you don't want to do it, or it's coming from that place of obligation instead of being heart-centered, it's totally okay to say no. No is not a fighting word. It's not combative and it's not mean. A lot of folks that I know and work with, they are not comfortable saying no because they think it's a mean thing to do or that it will hurt someone's feelings. Like, oh, I don't wanna say no, I don't wanna hurt his feelings or I don't like confrontation, so I don't wanna say no, I'd just rather go along with it so there's no confrontation. Saying no is not a combative phrase. It's actually the most empowering word in the English language as far as I'm concerned. And it doesn't have to be like, no, get out of here. What, what are you thinking? Like, don't, don't talk to me. It can be no with support. Like, no, I'm not able to do that. However, here are some resources to help you do it. It could be, you know, my schedule is really full. I'm not able to do that today, but I'm free on Thursday and I've got a couple of hours. Could we do it then? It could be that does not fit into where I'm at in my life right now or doesn't fit my schedule or I'm not comfortable doing that, but I support you in that you are doing, right? We often think that saying no, especially to our families, partners, and kids, that it's a mean thing, that it goes against our intentions as loving, caring, service-oriented people. But it really doesn't. It's okay to say no. So pause and take time to see if that's the right answer for you. The second do for boundaries is to practice on low-risk situations. A lot of us who are in recovery or connected to people in recovery, we had major boundary violations during our formative years. So like for me, I didn't know I was allowed to say no. I didn't know that I was allowed to have a boundary until many years of recovery and self-work and therapy recognizing like it's okay that I have a boundary. I didn't have a lot of examples of what that looked like. So I needed to practice and I needed to start practicing on low risk situations like if Sharon from the office down the hall comes and asks you in the middle of your super busy workday, if you can pause to help color in the company calendar of birthdays that month, maybe you can say, oh, I love that idea, Sharon, but I'm actually swamped right now, but I can't wait to see it when it's done. You're gonna do amazing, right? That's a low risk situation that you can practice on. The third do is recognize that setting boundaries is an act of care and service for those around you. A lot of us that have struggled to say no or we take on too much or we overcommit ourselves have really good intentions. We want to be there for the people in our lives. We want to be helpful and show up as many places as we can. We don't want to let people down either, right? Those all come from really good intentions. However, having boundaries around our days, our times, our values, actually makes us more able to show up as our full selves for the people that we love. We really can't give something away if we don't have it ourselves. So if you are taking care of everyone else in your life but not yourself, you're really not showing up 100% for those around you, even though your intentions are in the best spot. If you're not taking care of yourself, you cannot give what you don't have to other people. So recognize that boundaries serve you, but they also serve everyone in your life. Number three, or the three don'ts for setting boundaries. One, don't set boundaries you can't keep. If you don't 
hold the boundary that you set, it's not really a boundary at all. So if you're gonna set a boundary, make sure you're ready to stick with it, that you're ready to follow through with the consequences that you've set on it. And remember, you gotta practice boundaries. So those higher risk situations, like maybe setting some tough love around someone in your life, that would be something that comes after a lot of practice. And make sure that when you set a boundary, you can hold it. Two, don't be discouraged if you suck at boundaries. As we already talked about, a lot of us didn't have boundaries as part of our growing up. We're practicing. When you're learning something new, you're practicing something new, you usually aren't very good at it. I certainly am not. And so don't get discouraged. Don't give up if you're not good with boundaries. Number three, don't feel guilty for setting boundaries. Boundaries are a sign of self-worth. They are a sign of a healthy adult and they allow you, they allow me to show up as my best self at work, at community events, in recovery, for my family, for my partner. I show up at my best when I have boundaries, letting people know where I stand, what's appropriate for me, where my values are, how to use my time and all of that. It's good for me and it helps everyone around me know how to function. So if you wanna be a healthy adult and have a healthy life, that boldly satisfying life, require, boundaries are a requirement. They are non-negotiable, but you don't have to be great at them. Remember the three do's and don'ts of boundaries and you are well on your way. And believe me, boundaries are actually fun. <laughs> Once you start getting good at them, boundaries are a superpower. They are amazing. So start practicing right away. If you are looking to level up in your life or your recovery, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel so you never miss a video. Like the Facebook page, which has exclusive content, and check out jacedowney.com for free resources and how to find out ways to level up in life and recovery 10 times faster. Until I see you next time, don't settle for sober. It's only the beginning.